Actually, we're going to begin with a, with an easy topic, but it's awfully nice to have you here. <laughs> Bruce, how have you well, been? We're not going to start with a, a comical... Uh... No, no, no. We generally wind up the show with that. Oh, the question today is, should a teacher... He does all this stuff. Now, Bruce, you're the father of... Uh, well, he's the father of two children, Sam mm -hmm. and Lee. That's uh, right. How old are they now? How old are they? Uh, Sam is seven and Lee is 21 months old. All right, you've recently gone through a divorce. Well, it's I'm going through now. One, yeah. yes. Going through now. And you and Kitty were married how long? Uh, short of 10 years, uh, just about nine and a half years. I don't think it gets any easier. It no, it doesn't. It probably gets harder the longer you've been married, doesn't it? I think so. I think so. I think that um, uh, I was, we were just talking. I said, you know, it takes two to get married and it takes two to dissolve the marriage. Um, but I think we always hear about the woman's side of the divorce uh, a lot of times, and uh, believe me, guys go through a lot of pain about well, it, we'll too, pursue and that. I think our, that's something that should... Our next guest uh, certainly would agree that coping with divorce uh, not only takes two, but it takes a lot of time. Here with some guidance, a psychotherapist and author of Happily Ever After from St. Louis, Missouri, Doris Wilde Helmerling. Uh, Doris, let's, uh, let's take a minute or so and uh, address... Bruce's comments, uh, does the fact that most attention is paid to women have to do with the fact that generally they're the ones who are left behind? Well, I think that women often are left behind, so statistically that's true. At the same time, I think that men experience the very same pain going through the initial stages of divorce. They feel anger, hurt, frustration, they cry, they wake up in the morning, they're not sure where their life is going. Um, you know, it's real interesting what happens dynamically between people because a lot of times we'll say, uh, your wife was the one that set the tone in terms of when it was time to go to bed. And she'd say, you know, I think I'm tired, I'm going to go off to bed. And so what would happen is that you would probably say, well, you know, I think I'll go on up to bed too. And then maybe you'd just sit and read, but she would have set the tone. All of a sudden, she's not there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you really notice those the little habits that over, like for, in my case, almost a decade, uh, that were built, you know, mm -hmm. built into your relationship, and mm -hmm. suddenly it's gone. Well, what do you what do you think the most difficult thing that you've had to to come to terms with has been? I don't have my friend to talk to anymore. Uh huh. The closest friend I have, I was um, watching another television program that had a very similar subject matter here. And they were saying that uh, uh, a man doesn't talk about his emotions much. I think when we get around with other men. We have had the same thing. We, we, you know, the women this, the, they did this, and aren't they all like that? You know what I'm saying, between men, but we don't really talk... Don't talk about, about the soft side. Mm -hmm. Right, the intimate side yeah. of the closest person to him. I think a man's, um, his woman is, is the closest person to him. Right. Right. Well, also, what, one of the things, though, that men do not experience is generally is the rejection am i correct oh oh, oh no mm -hmm. i think that many men as much as well <laughs> as much as statistically but if you even think about it this way if 30 percent of men are left by women there are 30 percent that's a whole lot of men out mm -hmm. there who have been left that experience that tremendous trauma and pain uh, and can we talk about the stages that they, that they go through okay generally in terms of stages is a person will experience a lot of grief initially pain anger oh. frustration hurt and they'll keep going through those so in 10 minutes, you know, you may experience a lot of sadness, and then it's the anger. How come she didn't tell me? Why didn't I know sooner? Uh, we could have worked on this. We could have seen someone in therapy. Mm. So there's a whole lot of feelings that you experience. And some people experience those feelings over and over again for three months, some for four months, some for five months. And then they start to move on uh, in, into, of because, course, another stage. Yeah, time really does heal some wounds, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, in my case, I went through all of that. It's, uh, uh, went through counseling. I wanted to save it and, and try as hard as I can. I'm a very Midwestern guy. I, my mother and father are still married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went through feeling, uh, and, and still do, you know, that I have let down. I have let them down. I've let a bunch of people down. See, and that's part know? of the guilt, I think, oh, that people experience. Oh, tremendous guilt. Yeah. 